Alicante is a popular city in Spain and earlier in the summer we spent just under two weeks here exploring the city and its beaches. It is so pretty here. They're short, aren't they? <laughs> we also head slightly further down the Costa Blanca coast and check into our own villa to spend some time relaxing with friends. Jasper's out here living his best life. Yeah, buddy. We've made it to Alicante and I'm so excited to be here. We actually got here pretty late. It's currently 1 a.m. So we had a late flight getting here, but I'm glad we're here now. And we've just arrived at our Airbnb and it's so much bigger than I was expecting. As soon as we walked into the Airbnb, this is what we saw. Isn't it just so big and open? I was shocked, like, it, I swear it didn't look like this in the photos, but to be fair, I think it's been a while since we booked this. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Super nice open living, kitchen, dining area. I just love it. So nice. So, and then out here, there we go. Got a little patio area. It's kind of like a undercover, very small, but nice to have some outdoor space. The decor and the tiles in the bathroom is just unmatched. Like, I love the colour. So this is the main bedroom that we're going to be using. Um, very basic, just exactly what we need. Nothing crazy going on in here. But we do also have another bedroom. So if I get annoyed at Jasper, I could just cast him no, you can into there. there this room but i, I assume this is like single bed yeah i assume this is like kids room if you've got kids but it's quite a long you, room isn't it yeah really like strange shape this like whole place but you know it does the job good morning everyone so it's now the next day and we've just got ready to head out and just have a little explore to be honest we need to go to a shop get some like bits for the fridge get some water and stuff and i'm just excited to see the area so i've actually been to alicante once before but we didn't actually stay in alicante we went down to benedorm and i came here on like a family holiday um but i haven't been back since and that must have been like 10 years ago or something now so i can't really remember it at all it kind of just feels like we're exploring it for the first time again we're actually going to be doing something super exciting at the weekend so i can't wait for that but let's head out <laughs> We're now going to be heading to this place called Mushroom Street and apparently it's a street with absolutely huge mushrooms on it which sounds <laughs> so bizarre but it's something to see so we're going to head there now. They weren't lying. This just feels so random. <laughs> it does. Pretty cool though. Never seen anything like it. Look how cute it is. So we just had a little walk along the beach and it was so busy. So clearly everyone loves a beach day in Alicante. We're now gonna go get some food. Well, head to a supermarket and get some stuff to stock up the fridge, have in the apartment for the next couple of days. We just got back from the shops and it was actually really successful so we've got so many things to just like eat these i am very excited for some ice lollies i think they're strawberry flavor but yeah we've just basically got a bunch of stuff this is i am so excited for these some paddy chocolates um got some bread and hummus and yeah that's pretty much it we've got quite a lot of like nice fresh fruit to be fair very excited for the blueberries and we've also got some golden kiwis so 
very excited about those so it's a bit later on we're now back out we both had to get changed because we were so sweaty so we're now just gonna have a little walk around this evening we don't have like a specific plan today it was just more just like an exploring getting our bearings and yeah seeing like the city part of alicante to be honest so yeah we're just gonna have another little walk about traffic situation here is actually quite intense yeah, there quite, is a like, lot it's like london isn't it? yeah it's hectic so if you're driving, then be prepared for a bit of traffic around like this main centre. It's so nice along the harbour. I don't think any of these boats are up to Jasper's standards. <laughs> Where's Jasper's yacht? These are more your sort of boats. Yeah, that white one there is alright. Bit small, but... <laughs> Uh, about what I could afford is probably a rowing boat. <laughs> it's about it. So we're now back at the apartment and we decided to make ourselves some dinner back here. This is one way that we like to save money whilst traveling is like making our own meals. Like over time, you definitely do save a lot. So got a little pasta salad for dinner and I love these. They're just so good. Good morning, everyone. We are out and about in Alicante and today we're going to be doing some more exploring, but more with a purpose than we did yesterday. We sort of like walked around with no plan, but today we've got a couple of exciting places that we want to visit. So the first one is actually a viewpoint that's at the top of a hill and there's like a castle there apparently it's called santa barbara castle and it looks really cool like we did see it yesterday at the top of the hill we couldn't really see the castle but we could see how like how high up it was gonna be so it's gonna be a bit of a sweaty walk i think but to fuel our walk we've obviously got to go get a coffee it's not a jess video if there's no coffee involved exactly is So I got a caramel iced latte, but you know when they don't use like syrup, they use like thick Rizzo. caramel sauce. So you just get like loads of bitty bits of caramel in the drink. So you're not a fan. No. So we're currently walking through the cutest streets. It's giving like old town vibe, but oh, that was my sunglasses. I really should take more care of them. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty around here. This is where we're going up, all the way up there. Here we are. We've made it. We've made it to the castle, got a clippo. Life's good. Life's so nice sweaty. Yeah, I'm this way. <laughs> the castle it's a governor's house that's what it says on the sign there we go it's got loads of like now, what, was, what was it what was it frank I, I, i'll translate <laughs> fragmentos ceramacos processendis di yacimentos archaeologicos excavados in la sidia de alicante basis is fragmented fragmented <laughs> Fragments of ceramic pots and stuff that was on an archaeological, oh, I can never say that word, archaeological <laughs> dig. Here. Is that, is that translated, is it? Yes, yeah, sauce. <laughs> Loads of pots. They obviously like omitted it in front of the fillet in. Yeah. Very cool. Any other facts? No, what? <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> it's my Titanic moment. <laughs> Whoa, look at all of this. Look at the sailing boats. Look at the sea. Look at the whale bang there. Yeah. They're short, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> the view from up here is insane. You can see so far. I do love a good viewpoint. Yeah, see everything. And we're now going to go to this place where you can see 
an insane number of palm trees and if you've watched my travel vlogs for a while you know that I am obsessed with palm trees when we went to this island in the Philippines called Boracay it was full of palm trees like the whole like length whole of the beach. island yeah and it was probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been so yeah that was a literal dream so we'll see what this place is like So we just got off the bus, the bus was so easy, it cost one euro 45 each just for like one ticket. So I guess we just pay one euro 45 when we go on the way back. Um, and you could pay on card as well, which made it even easier. This is it, this is the spot. It looks beautiful. It is so pretty here. So many cute lakes, bridges, palm trees. It's very nice. And it's just free to like walk through. I feel like most places will charge you for something like this. So we're currently in the city in Alicante just checking out of our Airbnb that we've been staying in the past couple of days We're just finished packing everything up and then we're gonna head and get a hire car And then we're gonna drive about an hour down the coast to our villa So excited to see what it's like. I just really hope it looks as good as the photos Is that it? Yeah, that's everything to go in the case so we've just picked up our car we had the most stressful experience which I'll tell you about in a second But let me show you the car that we've got. This is the beast this is the one we got, we got a Citroen. Citroen C3. It's pretty cool actually. It's better than a Fiat 500. Yeah, that was our other choice, Fiat 500. <laughs> or a C1 I think. Yeah. Time driving manual, the other side of the world. Other, other side, side of the road. Of the road. <laughs> not world. I mean, it's not the first time, I've done it before at work. Yeah, but that's like the other side on the wrong side. That's even worse. Yeah. Genuinely. It's just remembering to like, how do I get out? <laughs> so we had a little bit of drama when we picked up the car. So we'd pre-booked a car from Europe Car. So we were like, sweet, we went to go pick it up. Um, it was only about, what was it, like £250 for the week? £240. £240 for the week. So we were like, such a good price. Like we just booked it online, everything paid for it and just went to go pick it up and when we went to go pick it up he asked for like driving like so jasper's obviously driving so he asked for jasper's driving license passport and credit card so we gave it all to him and then the guy was like oh do you have a credit card not like a debit card and jasper was like oh no i don't have a credit card with me but she i've got a credit card that i can't do we can't do you need a credit card um in your name and i was like oh well she like she got a credit card yeah but no doesn't doesn't matter i need you to have a credit card he said this is a visa visa doesn't work i said well a credit card's visa as well yeah i was so confused a visa credit card. yeah and he sort of looked at me blankly and then he sort of said he basically tried to explain to me how what a credit card is and i was like i'm not stupid i know what a credit card is but you know i mean i know i don't got i haven't got one i just said i don't own a credit card yeah. i said but like this is the third car we've hired on my card mm -hmm. it's been fine every time so, and he was like but well, it's in the t's and c's and he couldn't even find the t's and he c's he couldn't find the t's and but, c's but i mean but he was just well rude about it wasn't he it wasn't very helpful i think the worst part about it he was so rude so i was getting so annoyed like yeah he was just, well rude it wasn't just i was like well what what are we meant to do then because i was like we pre like we've already paid for it and everything like why can't you just give it because we didn't need to he just needed a copy of a credit card so if like i don't know you take, don't take the car back then they can just take money i guess i guess that's why they need it um so anyway he was like getting just like didn't care at all so i was getting like really upset about it and then i started like getting all teary and it always happens when like someone's rude to me or like just doesn't you get like care. you get like anger tears i get like anger tears so like they just start like i was starting to like well up and yes he was just so rude and i always think like people in customer service like yeah. You just, I just, can't you just be kind? Like, it wasn't even like he was like, oh, like, like fair enough if it if, is if, the rules, but if, you could be nice about it. Yeah, like I gave him, I gave him the cards and he, he could have just been like, oh, like, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I actually need like a credit card. Like, do you have, and, I, and then if I said like, oh, sorry, I don't have, I only have that. And he's like, like, 
I can't, but it was just like, no, that's a that's a debit card. I need a credit card, and like, I was like, I don't own a credit card. He's yeah. like, well, you can't. Basically, like, well, you can't have the car. I'm no, like, Jesus like, Christ. <laughs> it's just a lot. Nice to so, see you. Yeah, so basically we were just stood there for ages like, what do we do? We had a quick search online and there was another stall next to like, well, they're not stalls, like car rental place next door that um, was called Firefly. And we were just like, well, we'll just, we saw it was quite cheap online. So we just went to go speak to the well, guy. And to be, give the Europe car guy some, you know, after he, you know, didn't come up. After he attacked me, <laughs> um, he he actually he was the one who actually said I'd recommend Firefly because they're cheaper. You... They literally it was the nicest guy ever. <laughs> he was, he he was, was quite so funny. nice. Really, really he friendly. even put me on the policy for free and was like, if you want to drive, you can drive. If you don't, up to you. And he was just so nice about it. So I was like, oh, hang on a sec. You need a credit card. He's like, no debit or credit. It doesn't matter. I was like, thank you. Thank goodness for that. So yeah, all over now. We're in the car. We're on the way to the villa. 55 minutes, well, but give it an hour and 20 minutes, be in the pool. Yeah, it was not a pool, I'm so excited. So we've just arrived at the villa and it is so nice. I just need to give you a tour straight away, so let's do it. MTV Cribs. It literally is. So as you come in, we've got nice, little cute living room. Such a nice size sofa as well. Like this whole area looks so small in Airbnb, which was kind of putting us off. Yeah, the photos look like really small. Yeah, it's actually so much bigger. So we've got a nice little seating area. Me and Jasper can just chill out here. And then the kitchen. We've got a little island. Well, actually a huge island. Like you can literally fit three people here. So we'll probably cook some of our own meals because we're here for a whole week. But we also do want to like eat out, enjoy the area and just like chill out. So. We've also got this absolutely massive fridge. What is that? Is that little chocolates? Yeah, I think it's left over from the last people. There's a corona in there. Oh, oh yeah. We've also got a coffee machine. I've never used one like this, but we could make our own little ice lattes by the pool. Yeah. How cute would that be? So it's just a two bedroom villa. So we've got like two double bedrooms. Um, so first to the right, we've got the bathroom. And then straight opposite, we've also got the first bedroom, which isn't the one we're going to be staying in, but if you did have more people, you could use this room as well. And then through here is like the main bedroom. And it's also got an ensuite, which is identical to the bathroom, like there. So you've basically just got two bathrooms, exactly the same. So it'd be Hello. perfect if you had like, like two of you, like couple friends or something. Yeah, you know. One each. Yeah. And then this is the main bedroom that we're going to use. This looks absolutely well, yeah, right. massive. Like, how do we even open these? Huge oh. wardrobes. It's a shame we don't have many clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. But I feel like the best part of this villa isn't what's inside, it's what's outside. The outside area is crazy. So let's go have a look. Outside we have a cute little pool. It is so hot out here. It might steam up the lens. That is like bath water. Hot. That's so hot. It did say it said on the thing that I got sent that it was 30 degrees. Yeah, that's good though, because as much as it's like refreshing getting into a cold pool, just not for me. I like enjoying my swimming and Swim. As if you, I mean, when do you ever swim in a pool? You never swim. Yeah, but when you get in like a cold pool, it's like refreshing for two seconds, and then I absolutely hate it. I have to get out. I oh, see. I Whereas, quite like it. Yeah. Like, but it's a, especially because it's so hot. It's like it a proper hot. nice. Yeah, and then we've also got seating areas, two lots of seating areas. We need some more friends to invite. Enjoy the villa. Yeah, but let's go around here. So actually, is that a shower there? Yeah, it's outdoor shower. Oh, let's go have a look. Let me actually show you around here before we go to see the next section. It's perfect because we've got parking like in the villa, so we can just hop in there if we need to pop to a shop. Um, I've got a shower. Does it work? Oh, it does work. I should hope perfect. it works. Um, the next bit, it just gets better, I swear. So let's go up to the roof. We've literally got a roof terrace. I actually need to get some sun cream on. So do I. <laughs> so hot. This feels even hotter up here because it's like a sun trap. Um, but this, we've got even more seat in. 
Loads of seating. We've got like this cute day bed here. Living. That is so nice. And then we've also here got another seating area. You've got seating areas everywhere. Another little cute one here. And apparently, so you've got this like big, I don't know what you call these, like canopy areas yeah. that you can like pull across. Yeah, it's and on it, wheels, you can move it Yeah, around. so they said it was on wheels, so. Yeah, you can like put it over the seating area. Yeah, just move it about. So if we want a bit of shade, which I will definitely be needing, we can. We've also got a sink up here. I thought there might have been like a little barbecue thing. Yeah, same. I don't think there is a... No. And that's pretty much it for up here, but... Yeah, just some seats for the table. Yeah. So, absolutely love it. So happy with it. And another shower. If you get hot, oh, just yeah. have a little... Rinse. Got four showers. Take our pick. <laughs> <laughs> Duff is happy with it. Mmm. It's like even better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. So nice. Very warm pool of water. Is it nice? It's so warm. Let me get in. It's like, there's no refreshment. Ooh. Cheers to the last. The pool was so nice and warm. We literally just swam about in that for ages and then just chilled like on the roof terrace. And I am just obsessed with the villa so far. It has exceeded my expectations and I love it. So we also couldn't be bothered to make anything for dinner. We also couldn't be bothered to go out. So we decided to order ourselves an Uber Eats. We got a Burger King. So see what this is like. Ooh, we got some chicken nuggets. Ooh, Ooh chicken nuggets. Mmm, that's good. That's very good. Good morning everyone, we are making ice coffees this morning, I love these glasses, it always reminds me of having a cocktail abroad, so I thought you know what, let's just make our ice coffees in them. I slept so well last night, what's the time now? I think it's like 10am, so we've had like a little lie in, oh it's 11 now, so day is getting on. We started to realise that there's not actually tons to do near like where we're staying, like there's not like tons of restaurants, there's like a little town bit, but there's nothing like, I don't know, there's no, there's not like loads of cafes or anything, but there is like a, we think it's a big like shopping mall with loads of like restaurants and cafes, about a 15 minute drive from where we're staying, so we think we might head there and like have a little explore of that at some point, but we kind of want to find like a couple of restaurants, brunch places, just so if we did want to go out for breakfast or we did want to go out for dinner, we can. Like most of you guys probably know that we love like a resort holiday, just all inclusive, like you just go to loads of different restaurants for food you get all your drinks included like it is like such a chilled time especially when villas are quite expensive i've never thought like oh i'd love to go to have my own villa because obviously you have to do most of like the work yourself in terms of like cooking um, making drinks and everything um so like when it comes to like booking holiday like i just want it super chilled so i've never really thought about like having a villa so now we've been here I can understand why people love like villa holidays, especially if you're here with like friends, family. Uh, like it's just so nice because it's like your own private space, your own little private pool. And I just think it's so much fun. Like Ooh. There we go. That looks pretty good, if I do have to say so myself. We also got a rubber ring <laughs> and it is it's honestly it, right? it only cost yeah can you bring it in it only cost was it 12 euros or 10 euros and i inflated it yesterday and as soon as i got on it it started to deflate already because it's such thin yeah, it's, plastic it's, as soon as you like blew it up it just when we went to the site for us like a couple, a couple of years ago whatever it was yeah um, we bought one didn't we which is literally identical and they they're crap. they just deflate 
But then to be fair, the more expensive ones were like 30 euros. So I was like, well, we don't need it really after this week. Yeah. So everyone always gets like really cute flamingos and here I am with a tire. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, keep, I'm keeping, keeping myself grounded. Yeah. Yeah, if you didn't know, Jasper, before we went traveling, was a car mechanic, so it's very... No, no, I was a vehicle technician, Jess. Vehicle technician? Vehicle technician. You have to go fancy with it, but... We're just... Everyone's done now, isn't they? Like, plumbers are called... Yeah, owners. they are, aren't they? You got to sound fancy. We're now out and about, we've decided whilst it's a little bit windy and cloudy, we'll go explore that little town shopping centre area and see what's there. Big... Watermelons? No way! Yeah. <gasps> they like, so, grow like pumpkins. This is all watermelons in here, that's no crazy! I noticed that. I thought it was just like an empty field. And then I think this is all like limes as well. No, this one's lemons. Is that lemons? Yeah, I think this is one we seen the other day. Uh, I'm trying to, yeah, lemons, you can see them all. Wow. Right, we just arrived. This is where we're going to walk around. Zenaya Boulevard. There's a Zara, there's an H&M. You've literally got everything here to do like full on clothes it's like, shopping. It's basically a shopping centre, isn't it? Yeah. We just got back. We weren't there for too long. Probably like an hour just like walking around. We didn't buy anything apart from we went in this supermarket. So we just got a couple of like more snacky bits. Jasper saw these Harry Bow. I wanted to get those. And then we also got some wine. This was only like, it was really cheap. We're thinking of making like a little wine slushy. <laughs> Was out here living his best life. Yeah, buddy. Got a little apple cider on the go. Floating about. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So last night we ended up having like a really chill evening. We pretty much spent the whole afternoon evening in the pool, so it was very relaxed. But today we're gonna head out first thing. I think we're gonna go to a supermarket. Then we're also probably going to go out for lunch, which is going to be so nice. So, yeah, it should be a good day. I just feel like every single day in the villa is super chilled, super relaxed. So, but anyway, let's head out. So, the last thing I filmed was us heading to, like, a supermarket slash also going to a bakery. And essentially, that was because... Our friends Tia and Aiden came out to Alicante and surprised Jasper, so I'll insert that video now because it is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was getting a cake! Bless him! That's so nice! Hello! Hey, I was going on and on to Jasper about like going to this bakery, picking up a cake and like I was basically saying we have to go but it was like a 50 minute drive which is but it was the town that was the closest to the airport so Tilly and Amy got a taxi to this little town we just pretty much bumped into them as we like walked around the corner and Jasper's reaction was everything so we've been planning it like since Friday so when we were back in our apartment in Alicante and you had no idea yeah because they originally were coming and then they couldn't come and then we just thought it'd be fun to and just actually you surprise to, you yeah. no it was a good surprise I was literally shell shocked like I couldn't talk for like two minutes <laughs> you were just like what I was so, so. shocked yeah, it's been such a fun day and then literally for the whole rest of the day we've just been chilling in the pool. It's been really nice, but we're now gonna head out for dinner. I've got this really cute like dress on. I think it's such a cute little dress from H&M. I love little it's summer dresses. Dress. Yeah. That is nice. I like it in the back as well. It's just very plain, simple, but I like how it like sort of comes in at the middle. Nice. <laughs> what have you got there? Brownie. Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. That's nice. That looks a joke. That looks a Not gonna lie, though, it could do a bim bim warm. Look at the size of this well, cake. I'm going, I'm going, going to the top. You're going straight down. <laughs> Didn't quite work. Mm. 
good. No, it's choppy. You're welcome. So today we are going to be heading to the beach. We're going to have like a little beach morning, beach afternoon. I'm not sure how we're going to, long we're going to actually stay there for. But we're going to head to the beach and see what that's like. And the hire in the Pedaloo is actually so much fun. And we've been making some frozen cocktails. Um, the best way to make a frozen cocktail is using ice lollies. If you ever come to Spain, you have to get these ice lollies. They're so good. So we just put these in the frozen cocktails and I love them. But anyway, we're going to go in the pool, have a little swim about, enjoy the rest of the sunshine. Cocktail. Thank you. So, Talia and Aiden have now left. They were literally only here for two nights. And it, to be fair, it didn't actually go as quickly as I thought it would. It felt like they were here for quite a while, which is really nice because I was worried, like, it would actually go by that quickly. But I'm so glad they were able to come. Mm -hmm. showered wash my hair we've just been packing all our stuff up jasper's just currently cooking us up some pasta we bought this the other day um so we thought we got to use that up just use up any last bits in the fridge and yeah this is gonna be the end of alicante why do i feel like this is such a kid's meal <laughs> it's, like, it's like adult ravioli it's literally adult ravioli Mm. But anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Anything you want to say, Jasper? Peace out. Peace out. And I shall catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye. In the next episode, we go on our first ever surprise trip. We've just turned up at the airport and we have no idea where we're flying to.